In this video session, we're going to get into color separating client supplied files that are a mix of bitmap and vector graphics. In other words, sometimes clients will send us files that actually have bitmaps mixed with vector. And we have two different applications relating to SimpleSeps on advancedtshirts.com. One is SimpleSeps Smart Rip 4.0. That application is for color separating objects in CorelDRAW that have spot color properties. For example, monochrome bitmaps and vector objects. And then we have SimpleSeps Raster. SimpleSeps Raster is for color separating bitmaps. And what it does is it takes JPEGs and photographic images and converts them into color separated monochrome bitmaps that can then be run through SimpleSeps Smart Rip 4.0. And we'll use some interlocking in this tutorial. If you're interested in looking deeper into how Raster works, and interlocking halftones, we've got some tutorials about how to use this application here, advancedtshirts.com. And we've got a tutorial on interlocking and how and why when you're dealing with simulated process, very important. And you won't find interlocking halftones in any other ripping software in the market. We've also got extensive tutorials for the SimpleSep Smart Rip 4.0. And here's a tutorial with the interlocking and some high end printing. Coming back here to our actual graphic, we can see we've got a client supplied file. I'll go ahead and delete these. I won't need these and I won't need the black background. Now what we've got here is a very simple logo, but we've got some photographic imagery as camo built into the logo. Well, to separate this, all we want to do is select both of these objects. Now looking at this, because I know how color works, and as I said, there's some tutorials here under the Simple Steps raster that will explain to you how to analyze color and what you're looking at with your object so that you can do the correct color separations. But I've looked at color so often now that I understand that really this camo seen in the background can be made with just orange and black, two colors, but still have a photographic look. So you don't always need to go CMYK or a lot of color CMYK. You can actually do photographic printing with very few colors. It depends on the number of colors that are in the image. Now these two selected here, I'm just going to open up my Simple Steps Raster 1.2. And when that's finished, I can look at this and see black and orange. But I know that red and yellow will make my orange. So I'll just click these little green buttons down here. My red and yellow are selected. I'll go to click steps here. And then I'll select my black here. So that's just going to be three colors. But then I'm going to turn my yellow and red into orange. But I'll go ahead and click on click steps and we'll let that process. Now once that's finished process, I can go ahead and close my simple steps raster here. And I'll go to my object manager. If you can't get to that, just go to Windows. Go to Dockers and that'll bring that up for you, Object Manager here. And I can see here that I've got my standard black, my yellow, and my red. I'm going to select my red and my yellow, and I'm just going to come down here and right click and zoom in here and just change those to an orange. You can see a little bit of a change there. Another thing I want to do is make sure that everything here is set to overprint. Now, if I right click on this, I can see it says overprint outline, but sometimes because of bugs in Corel, these two here that aren't the black won't be set to overprint outline. So I'm going to set all of those to overprint outline. Now, if you have a white base in your separation, you'll set everything except the white base to overprint outline. Very important because if you don't set those to overprint, then they're going to knock the, the colors out when they color separate and your separations aren't going to be correct. Now, looking at this, I can see it actually go with maybe just a little bit of a darker orange. You can't see that, but it's over here in the palette. And that'll give me a better look or a better match for what I was originally dealing with. I'll go ahead and select this and then just hit Control C to copy. I'll go to Window and I'll go back to my original graphic. And I'll go ahead and delete what I've got here in the Camel. And I'll just paste in my monochrome bitmaps. And I can change this again to View Simulated Overprints. And I can see that I've got an excellent match there working with just the orange and the black. And I can work with the orange and the black and the white that are in the design. Once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and go to Simple Steps Smart Rip 4.0. So I'll go to Advanced Tools. Now, if you're in X7, you have to go to Windows, Dockers, and then down here at the bottom, you'll find the Advanced Tools for X7. But I'm in X6, so I'm going to go here to Simple Steps 4 and bring that up. And then I'm simply going to go to Color Management. I've got everything selected here already. Click on Create Selection Palette. And see, I've got two oranges, two whites, and two blacks. I'm just going to want black orange and white. I'm going to click on one click conversion. 
That'll process me down to three Pantone colors. I'm going to go to separations. I'm going to go to raster type here, and I'm going to go to half tones. Now, apparently, I've got an object in here or something in here that's not Pantone. It looks like we've got a little object here from the original graphic. I'm going to go ahead and delete that because that looks like something that shouldn't be there. And then I want to take a look at this again. Make sure I've got all these colors. Now, where have I got a color that's not Pantone? So I'm going to go here and here and here. Now, possibly. I didn't have something selected when I ran it the first time. So I'll go one click conversion again. Now I'll be down to three Pantone colors. Now sometimes you can, you know, when you're doing your lasso and you might miss something in your selection and then it'll set you back to your color management tab. And I'll go back to separations here, go to half tones, and now we've got all Pantone colors. I'm gonna do a white base tinted with a choke of two pixels. Now I can see that I'm going to have some color blending between the black and the orange to make the brown and I'm going to want to interlock this black. Now for the video I won't do dot gain because we want to get a good preview. But if you look on the website our dot gain tutorials this is critical. You definitely want to use dot gain. But for the video I'm not going to so we can get a good preview of our halftones and see what it's really going to look like when it's printed on press. Set this to all black if I'm doing all black output. And then simply click on generate separations in simple step smart rip 4.0 will go through and automatically generate my white base my white highlight my interlocked black and my orange now once that's finished processing i'll go ahead and minimize simple steps and you'll take a look at you and say well where's the orange well this is why we use interlocking halftones because if i look here i can see that here in my halftone preview that my highlight white is stepping on my orange but if i just left click drag this down release it, then you can see there's my orange. And as we zoom in, we can see that we have the interlocking halftones between the orange and the black. So the black's not stepping on the orange, nor is the orange stepping on the black. Now this is a very hybrid form of halftone printing for screen printing that you'll only find in Simple Step Smart RIP 4. You won't find it in any of the other RIPs. So we've got our black, and then here's our orange, here's our white highlight, and here's our underbase. And then if we go through our color separations, we can see them on the separate pages as we click through. Now, if we want to go back to our halftone preview and get a really good preview of what this is going to look like printed on a shirt, we can simply select this, go to bitmaps, convert to bitmap, 300 DPI, anti-aliasing, transparent background, if we want to put it onto a garment or something like that to send as a comp, select OK and let that process. Now, once that's finished processing, just to give it a little bit of a better simulated look which you'd see on a t-shirt, we'll just simply go to bitmaps, blur, Gaussian blur, and we'll give this a one pixel blur, and we'll select OK. And then we'll zoom out, and there you can see we've got the very photographic look of the camo scene that was built into the logo, but we're only using two colors, and we can print on a dark with just four colors, working with our interlocking halftones. So go ahead and wrap here, quick tutorial, working with a mix of vector, and raster or photographic images with Simple Steps Raster and Simple Steps Smart Rip 4.0, and of course, very importantly, our interlocking halftones. And once again, I do want to go over here very briefly that dot gain is critical. I did not use that in this video. There are videos on the website which will get into the dot gain and how it works and why here under the Simple Steps Smart Rip 4, and you'll definitely want to be aware of dot gain and how to deal with it because you're going to have dot gain in your screen printing process but here in the video i just wanted to show you how accurate we can be with just a few colors and print photographic without really using cmyk or getting into a lot of colors through a full simulated process print just working with black and orange we get the photographic look so go ahead and we'll wrap here and we'll see you in our next video